what's going on everybody it's your buddy big play ray i just want to share with you some footage from my chest biceps and hamstrings routine uh, i'm warming up here with chest flies and i'm also working out with steph or should i say personal training steph um, he's been hanging with me for quite some time and making some nice gains and uh, this is our routine for the day he's warming up here as well uh, two sets of flies for about 12 reps um, medium weight not real heavy at all still warming up here two sets of uh, inclines on the machine with 25 pounds on both sides and uh, we're doing dumbbells today and even though we've warmed up this is still not uh, this is still another warm up here you know definitely got to make sure the mind is in gear as well as the body so uh, it's about 60% of the weight I'm going to use and going through all the motions I did 12 reps could have done more but did 12 reps with that particular weight this is actually my first working set 100 pound dumbbells I did about eight no 10 reps with these um, I'll put a link to the uh, unedited clip um, in the description I'm just showing you a couple here for time um, a couple of reps here for time but um, doing four sets on uh, all, all the exercises and trying to keep the rep range between 8 and 12 I'm going to show you the entire clip on this this was uh, Steph's first time doing dumbbell bench press so I told him to pick a weight for this flat bench that he thinks he can get 7 reps for and that's the weight that he picked once we got started once we got started and he was actually working out I'm told him we're going to 12 don't put the weight down until we get to 12 a lot of times we shortchange ourselves you'd be surprised at what the mind can do you know this was the way he thought he could only get seven with and you see how many more he's able to squeeze out so don't cut yourselves short because you want to definitely utilize all the weights at the gym and um, you know keeping keeping safety first but I had more than enough confidence that he could get more than seven with this particular weight but still gonna spot him there just for safety um, this was the max weight that I used today I wanted to grab the 125s but some other guy was using them for rows and he was using them forever so I went on to just grab the 120s and uh, this is my set you can actually see from where I sprained my wrist several weeks ago you can still see on the right side it's still a little weak I mean I don't have any pain in it or anymore but you can definitely see that it's still weak where I took it light while it was healing so got a tight grip on that right side still pushing through it once we did those four sets um, I actually went back down in weight on the last two I used the 100 pound dumbbells again on the last two sets of the flat flat bench we uh, I went back down in weight used the 100 pound dumbbells and got about eight or nine reps on those last two sets now we're going to the uh, incline and um, most people are usually a little less stronger on the incline than they are on a flat so we dropped the weight down some and I'm using 85 dumbbell, 85 pound dumbbells here once we did four sets of those we moved on to our first hamstring and uh, in between sets on the uh, incline we were doing uh, lunges in the stationary position to, to stretch the uh, quads and glutes and hamstrings out and now we're over here with our first set taking it easy kind of light on the first set uh, first set of hamstrings and we're supersetting hamstrings with bicep curls um, so as soon as we finish our set on hamstrings we immediately um, step over and do a bicep exercise so for this first hamstring exercise we did hammer curls standing hammer curls with this particular exercise and again four sets of each um, even with the hammer curls we're trying to stay between 8 and 12 reps after that um, we actually wanted to do, the, do this first but um, it was a busy day in the gym so this machine was occupied wanted to do three exercises for the chest so we're doing um, chest flies with the cable uh, for a third exercise on the chest I don't haven't done uh, decline chest in about two years I believe my 
believe my uh, bottom of my chest is uh, developed well enough. So I just spotted stuff when he did them, but I don't really do decline chest anymore. Our second exercise for hamstrings was the lying leg curl. And um, did eight to 12 reps with this particular exercise as well. And as soon as I was done with my set, began to do um, what I like to call 21s for biceps. And to do this, you know, you do seven reps with the inside grip, seven reps with a normal width grip, shoulder width grip, and then you do another seven reps with a wide grip. And this is all in one set. I only did two sets of this in the last two sets of line leg curls. I just did not superset at all. And we ended the workout with uh, preacher curls. So this was my routine uh, for chest, biceps, and hamstrings. Uh, feel free to use it or give it a shot. But however you decide to create your combination for working out, make sure you do it in a way so that you can go out there and get swole.